Without this sound, there would be no football games here in Ishoi. Without this guy and his colleagues, the referees, there would be no Cup Denmark. Tariq Kirch is one of the 24 referees of the tournament and he's a busy man. We wake up at uh, 6.30 in the morning, a little bit breakfast and then uh, prepare. Then we're preparing for the game. Games. <laughs> well, we're starting the, our games at 8 o'clock and then uh, it's full until uh, 6 o'clock. <laughs> It's a long day for the referees, and seldom do they have time for a break. About five matches a day. Uh, and how about breaks? Sometimes there are breaks, some, sometimes there are no breaks. Like this game, I had no break before I came to this game. It's quite a bit tough. It's not only the players that are being evaluated on the performances. The referees themselves are also being watched closely by people like Jörn Berggren, who is a referee coach. I'm a referee instructor and I'm uh, uh, advising and supporting the refereeing, the referees during this week. It's not an easy job to be a referee. They have to master a lot of skills. They, they, they have to communicate, communicate with, with the players. That's very important. Uh, they must uh, handle the whistle, talk with the whistle, so the player understands that this is a serious foul. Uh, the condition, they must be in physical uh, top class, they, have be, they must be trained. Uh, and also the body language, it's very important. So far for Tariq, it's a long and hard day here at Cup Denmark, and on top of that he is being evaluated. But why does he want to spend his summer like that? It's a good uh, chance for us referees in uh, Sweden. This uh, education course, we're training to be a better referees and getting some good tips from our coaches. We'll, after this course, we'll be better referees, we hope. Both Jörn and Tarik is hard at work during the tournament here in Ishoi. But what is it that drives them? Because I'm uh, too old to play soccer. I have too many injuries and I still want to comp be in this football network. And this is a great opportunity for me. And I love it. And it's keep me fit too. Uh, it's fun. You meet young people that uh, loves football and loves to be a referee. So they, they, they're listening and learning. That's the, the, the best part of it. Today's last match is about done for Tariq. But before he goes, we need to ask him how it feels to sometime be the most unpopular person on the field. Unpopularity is on the, on the game. After the game, often the most of the teams are calm and they think about what they said and often they do excuse themselves. But, but how do you feel during the game when there come these big shouts from outside the field or inside the field? I'm trying not to feel anything. I'm a professional and I'm, I'm here to do my job. But can you always not react if they keep on shouting? If the players keep on shouting, I will book them. The supporters, I don't care.